Networks are trying to decide what to do about the potential for games to be played without fans. Empty stadiums, no noise. Do you use fake crowd noise? Do you not use fake crowd noise? Fred Gadelli, who produces Sunday Night Football for NBC, worked with John Madden at NBC and at ABC. He sought out John Madden's input, and this comes from Fred's comments to Daniel Kaplan of The Athletic. John Madden said to me, Fred, you're going to hear things that even you have never heard, so I'd be really trying to figure out how to capture those sounds and present them to the audience and not worry as much about artificial sound. And look, that was one of the first things that struck me when we began to discuss the possibility of games without fans, hearing all the ambient noises, hearing all the trash talk, the comments among the participants. We got a glimpse of it on Sunday with the the golf match. I, I want to hear what these guys are saying. So I see the merit in what John Madden has said, Big Cat. But Mike, I am firmly in the camp where and I think you probably agree with me here, the NFL is the most paranoid league in the world. The coaches in the NFL are the most paranoid guys in the world. The NFL also doesn't want to have a situation where, hey, guess what? I mean, imagine if there was a hot mic for uh, Mason Rudolph's situation. We don't know what happened, but imagine if something was said. I don't think people are imagining that if, if we don't have fake crowd noise, that we will have like a perfect mic'd up, it will be fascinating to hear everyone talk. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think either they're not going to allow it because the coaches don't want it, or everyone will clam up because they know they have a mic on and they know that they can get caught with a hot mic and they don't want to see that happen. I think once they get popped in the face, they'll forget they have a hot mic on. It's a twist on the old Mike Tyson line. You know, you're going to forget very quickly that you're mic'd up and you're going to trust that somebody is pressing the dump button. I want to hear it. I want to do that experiment, and I'm interested in it. We'll see what happens. More PFT Live right after this. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.